Hi everyone, how are you all doing out there? Hope you guys are all doing fine. This is Reagan. Thanks for tuning back into our channel. In today's video, we are going to unbox and review this another newly released figure of Hot Toys. This is none other than Miles Morales Bodega Cat Suit version from the Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales video game. VGM050, a 1-6 scale collectible figure. And before we start, if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video, especially Hot Toys. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so this is the art box. I would say looks really nice, guys. I love the picture. I love the print. Nice. I think this one looks like from the PlayStation, uh, I don't know, like from a picture or from the game. I'm not familiar with the Miles Morales game because I haven't played that. So, yeah, let me know, guys. Just comment down below. But then this one looks really good. Love the picture. And then those fonts of the logo, Spider-Man Miles Morales. Bodega Cat suit right here, Hot Toys logo, some effect, looks really nice, that cat looks real, right, the, I mean the picture, and then some patterns right here, looks very special, even when you touch it, you know, like that kind of like rubber, uh, embossed part print, looks really nice, I think, yeah, this one looks really neat, I would say, again, looks very special, you know, to me, and then this side, there you go, nice, and then right here at the back, that nice presentation of their infos, warning, that looks really neat. And then the picture right here, this one looks really cool. And then this one, the other side looks the same from the other side. There you go. Nice. Okay, so that's the art box, the front cover art box. Now we're gonna slide it up so you guys can see the inner art box. Ooh, that's a lot of accessories, guys. I can see it already. Let me read slowly. Damn! Whoa, that's a lot of accessories, guys. Look at that. Nice. So even without that cover, I mean, you could just like you know display this one, right? That looks really neat. You know, very nice presentation of that packaging, and then same uh, from the outer part. Ooh, at the back. Wow. That looks really cool and they already put all the accessories on the figures it's kind of like showing already how to use it right amazing amazing art box guys and then some info right here for spider-man miles morales bodega cat suit there you go okay so i'm excited to see this one so let's unbox it mm, another new figure smell oh my goodness okay so this is the instruction sheet uh, looks cool. I mean like because of the print. Okay, so let's take a look right there mm -hmm. Relations head interchangeable Electric uh, effect right here hands bags and cut. Okay That's it. There you go so let's take a look at this uh, first packaging right here. Okay, so on this first packaging right here, we're gonna get a five pairs extra interchangeable hands. Of course, we have the pair of open hands right here. This one is a peace sign or victory sign. Open hand again right here, something against your hands. And then the web shooting hands right here, a pair of that and then thumb up, just the left hand. And then this one right here looks like holding the web. Yeah, and then this one looks like holding the uh, cup of coffee. Yes, okay, or the coffee cup, I mean. And then we got the um, extra interchangeable, or not, uh, yeah, interchangeable palm web shooting right here that you can attach to that web shooting hand. And then two pieces of extra joint. And right here, uh, two pairs extra of eyes expression right there. And of course, his mobile phone that looks like someone texted him. <laughs> and then this one right here is the headset I'm not sure what brand is this <laughs> and then of course the uh, this one looks like a stand for the spider cut right here so two pieces 
and then of course the coffee cup uh, with that logo of coffee bean <laughs> and then this one is the backpack cover right there okay there you go so this is the first packaging right here okay so starting off with this one right here this is the gift box yeah, i believe this is the gift box and it's uh, wrapped in a newspaper right the daily bagel right there okay that looks really cool okay and then this one right here is his backpack in black color yeah it looks pretty solid right there of course kind of like a rubber plastic but i would feel i can feel that it's you know pretty solid okay so it's not easy to you know uh crumpled and then this one right here is the interchangeable uh cover so this one is very easy to detach i believe Ooh, yeah no it's quite tight wow nice oh there you go okay so and in, inside it has some uh protective foam you know for the cut right there so later we're gonna change that actually we, we can change it so you guys can see it already there you go this one is to make it look like uh open yeah open one like you know like the zipper uh down here already and then you're gonna put the cut or the spider cut okay and this one is his sketchbook this one looks cool wait let me take a look inside dang that looks really cool looks real right I mean all of his drawings his sketches and uh, yeah actually we could copy how he you know made his costume right that looks really cool but you could fully open this sketchbook just be careful because it might gonna rip off okay just put it back again to that uh, position okay this is the sketchbook amazing this one right here the open web this one right here the usual webs uh six strings i believe yeah this is six strings yeah so five here and then plus one this one right here okay and then right here is the effect the venom effect yeah right there this one also looks pretty solid i can feel it so it's not easy to bend nice okay the quality i would say is really good and then this one yeah in, in yellow color oh this one i like this one this is his roller blades we got a pair of uh, roller blades Ooh, that looks really really cool guys look at that amazing right the details the paint application actually i really like the, the details and the patterns wow the color fantastic guys wow this is really cool guys i'm excited to attach this one there you go and it also you could uh, spin that yeah you could spin the wheels right there nice wow okay so you could rotate that uh, you know that wheels amazing this is really cool guys wow. okay then right here is the spider cut so we're gonna get two figures of spider cut this one looks cool this one is going to attach uh, on his backpack or you're going to put inside his backpack and this one right here it's kind of like uh he's about to jump you know or, or either on the ground or on his shoulders yeah i would say the details looks good and the paint application looks neat well you can you might gonna see some flaws but i think it's very minimal so it's not noticeable but i would say it looks really cool at least we have two cats spider cats there you go one last <laughs> right here the holder there you go okay and the figure wait i forgot the base so this one right here is the standard hexagon base and it'll be that really nice print of miles morales spider-man that spider logo that looks really really cool the color is nice i would say and of course the holder the dynamic uh, pole right here bang okay let me remove this one and of course the figure guys there you go Okay, let's remove those plastic starting from the head this uh... okay so all plastics removed nice wow that looks really cool uh, he has a long back shirt and then his hoodie okay so that's a tons of accessories guys so i'm gonna try my best to uh, showcase all of them and uh, let's check the articulation first and then let's play around Okay, so let's check the articulation. I'm gonna start with the neck. So you could do twist there. 
and still tight all the way to the back guys yeah so you could do 360 on this head right there just do it slowly because you might gonna scratch the uh, details on the neck so just be careful and this one is quite sharp so just be careful away from that you know neck a little bit to the front more forward I would say okay and then this one has that extra joint on the neck so meaning separated from the neck uh, although the neck part is attached to the body but it has some joint so meaning we're gonna have some extra range of motion so if I'm going to do some uh, moving forward that neck see right we could move the neck because there's a joint on that neck part okay back side so you could do more isolation in this one see right nice and then looking down so if looking down we could do more so not just like this okay so we're just gonna just push that neck a little bit more yeah see boom nice right that is really cool and then looking up especially this one because this was for you know for jumping poses or flying poses wait 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 uh, let me push this one then look up yeah i think that's it see nice that is really cool okay see oh that is clean i mean like it doesn't have any it doesn't look like you know um it, it has some gaps right right see nice anyway side i mean like tilt bang that really break the neck <laughs> break the neck so yeah <laughs> other side same same guys see wow that's really cool okay so that's it I would say great articulations on the head okay oops yeah so you could easily move that and then also yeah we could use other head sculpt see some bear head sculpt of Peter Parker I mean Miles Morales yeah <laughs> I think we have right do we have the Miles Morales head sculpt I forgot already so anyway there you go okay bang and then moving on to the arms this one's ratchet joints Ooh, nice both side really nice I would say okay, so above 90 degrees guys okay so that's the max and then let's put it down again nice and the shoulder or the arms I think that's the closest one to the body okay so kind of like uh, there's some gap there on the side so not too close to the body so it's kind of like his his arm is open right wait, wait. okay and then arms moving to the front this one's very smooth all the way up yeah all the way up 100 there you go okay 180 degrees okay actually you could do 360 right but of course with that suit of course with the with his uh, sweatshirt his hoodie of course we can't okay but I would say yeah it looks good see hmm then swivel yeah we could do swivel right there so we're going to do this one nice and then some uh, what's this like shoulder motion to the front like squeeze right there right nice and then that flies bang okay Let's put it back down So, and then elbows. Let's move on to the elbows. Double jointed. So it's quite limited, you know, not fully um, close to the body. See? But still great, right? See? Nice. I think. Hmm, I'm not sure if um, it has a uh, suit inside. Uh, because it's so easy to move the arms eh? so it looks like uh, it doesn't have you know uh, we will see that later we will check that and then the wrist I think it's fine wrist uh, standard one and then let's check the upper body this one right here crunch in first boom wow wow that's so easy I mean it's it, not loose but I would say like it's so easy to you know crunch it, I, feel like there's nothing inside it's just the pure body material yeah that's the max guys for the crunch in and then arch 
double jointed guys so upper tore around here on the abdominal uh, part and then also on the waistline so if we're going to arch that ooh, ooh. wow <laughs> I think that's it see for that seal stretch <laughs> nice okay let's put it back slowly there you go and inside the side crunch nah a little bit here and it's quite loose it, it looks like uh, it feels like um once you move it's gonna go back to the center it's not like spring there's some spring there so anyway twist yeah great uh, articulations on the twist see that uh, range of motion i would say big see? all the way to the side not bad right okay actually great Okay, so I think uh, that's it. That's it for this upper body. Only that side doesn't have, and then uh, the crunching just a little bit, you know. But you know, still great, I would say. Okay, let's move on to the leg slowly. I think we could do 90 degrees here. See, nice. Though, of course, if you move his leg all the way. Uh, up to 90 degrees you might gonna get some crumpled parts or you know uh, stretch mark on his uh, suit so probably that's the max but yeah you could do I mean like you could uh, um, do that I mean like it's your own figure if you want to really test the you know that really nice I mean if you really want to enjoy that you know action figure of course <laughs> then yeah you could do that uh, to the back yeah that's the max guys wow so you could do split <laughs> okay and uh this one i could feel that his suit is is quite thin i mean it's not quite it's actually thin <laughs> i mean compared to the other spider-man figure yeah this one is uh yeah it's quite thin hmm Kind of like a not not the spandex, not the usual spandex material that quite thick. This one is uh, yeah, I could feel. Uh, see, I could really move the suit. Did you hear? I could you hear that? See, right? See, so it looks like a fabric uh, mix uh, material. So that's why. So it's not the rubbery material that uh, kind of like hard to you know do some articulation. So this one is. Yeah, at least Atto is, uh, you know, finds a way to uh, to change that material that we could really do some nice articulations on the, you know, on this Spider-Man or Miles Morales figure, right? Let's do the knees. There you go. That's good. Double jointed, I would say. Okay. Nice. Let's do it slowly because we're going to get some crumpled. And it's tight, huh? so it's not loose. Let me finish this one first. This um, max for the tiptoe. I mean, like yeah, point and flex right there. Okay, that's the max I could feel. And then this one, I think for the side we could, but we probably we just need to uh, twist the joint because yeah, only front and, and back. Eh? See, flex and point. That's it. But uh, probably we could we could twist the joint, then we could uh, get that. Uh, wait, let me check, guys. Uh. So this one right here. See, this is the joint. So we could. Uh, oops. Let me, yeah, we could twist the joint first, and then like let's say like this. So yeah, more to the side. So if we're going to attach it, then we could do some tilt like this. Bang! Nice, right? I, I mean, like also like this. Yeah, so for uh, for more uh, range of motion, like for dynamic poses, okay? There you go. Just twist it first. Okay, let me put it back. There you go. Wow. Okay. I think that's it. Uh, even though the the which is the material that they use is, is very thin, the detail is still there, right? Still has some nice uh, cobweb patterns, which is really neat, I would say. Okay, for this kind of material, huh? Great job, Hot Toys. Okay. So I think that's it for the articulations. Okay. Nice. Right, so let me check some. Uh, let me check uh, if what's in underneath of this uh, uh, 
figure. I mean, this is Miles Morales figure. So, there you go, guys. See? So, it doesn't have that, uh, uh, what's this, that full suit. Meaning, it is full suit, but doesn't have that extra um, details and patterns compared to this bottom right here. So, see, right here is just blank. This one feels like the same material, eh? It's just this one uh, has that, uh, ooh, ooh, that, is that a scratch? I mean, goodness. Wow. Ooh, there's a slice. It looks like a slice. It looks like coming from inside. That's weird. Anyway, so yeah, uh, again, this one right here, kind of like rubber material. Yeah, this one, yeah, I could feel this one is a spandex, but very thin material. Uh, hmm. uh, it's a good idea actually that uh, that's a great idea you know uh, so at least we could really do some um, uh, great articulation I mean like great dynamic poses kind of like the same um, uh, quality on that homemade suit that we could really do some uh, big range of motion right so yeah okay so that's inside so meaning you cannot really detach this uh, hoodie okay so it stays there so that's the character of this Miles Morales with that hoodie um, sweatshirt okay and then this one we cannot pull we cannot pull that strings but it has that uh, wire around this hood see yeah this one uh, it has some wire incinerator, incinerator guys see? nice okay and then what else yeah, I think that's it. So this one, I'm not sure if we could pull up that. Oh, we cannot pull up this one because, can you guys see it? So even this arm, yeah, it doesn't have that, uh, uh, what is this? That uh, suit pattern details, okay? So it's just pure, um, uh, kind of like the same material that uh, we saw around on uh, the body, see? That uh, plain black color spandex material probably okay so at least you guys have an idea yeah. and then again just be careful on you know moving it I'm not sure about this one that's weird I, I, didn't, I didn't know where you know uh, it came from so okay that's it very nice details on the suit on the lower part I would say yeah that's it for the articulations and overall details okay so now let's attach those accessories i'm gonna start with this one right here this bag okay so this one so kind of like a buckles right here so you're gonna attach it to the back there you go okay and it already changed the the back back cover so we could put already that uh, that cut like this all the way down okay since I already showed you guys that uh, cut so this one right here is the kind of like stand you know so either we use this one right here there you go see so this is how it looks like with this uh, base let's call it base okay so you could do some different angle different position right and then also yeah, kind of like a style that uh, his cut is about to jump I mean like jump from his back okay so when you're going to attach this adapter right here this kind of like base uh, start doing it from around here so not here because this one has some uh, extra thick material so you might gonna have a hard time to attach this one so you have to attach it here okay right there okay so you could use to a uh, spider cut <laughs> So that's how it looks like uh, when attaching that adapter or like holder for this uh, jumping cut, jumping spider cut. Okay, so you could do different position like this, and it doesn't look like it has that uh, you know that holder you know for this cut, especially if you're using a white background or if you're going to edit it. So yeah, that looks really really cool. Okay, so you have two spider cut uh, that you could use you know in this one figure. <laughs> Okay, and then uh, hmm, let me attach the roller blades or the inline skate because I'm so excited to use this one. This one's really cool, guys. The 
There you go. Nice. I think this one you could use that uh, what's this? That twist of the joint. So from here, twist the joint. So at least you could do some nice side-to-side uh, -side movement there. See, right? Kind of like this. Okay, there you go, guys. Okay, that's how it looks like. Dang, nice. That's really cool. This one right here. Okay, so for this one, for this uh, venom blast effect gonna insert first that uh, fist gesture inside then then we're gonna put it like this so we're gonna insert that arm inside that blast effect like this so at least it's easier to attach that uh, you know venom blast effect okay right there the other side let me try so let's see but let's see if we could attach this arm without removing that uh, you know that face that hand oh there you go guys so you do need to it's okay to um, if you don't want to remove the wrist part but I think yeah you could you could uh, you know do that see wow this one's quite sharp anyway but this side right here is quite weird. Ah, I see. I think you just need to find the right uh, angle or position, right position on putting those blast effect. Okay. There you go. It's a quick one for that blast effect. Okay. Let's use the. Let's use his headset. without that hoodie there you go it's easier okay and then uh, his mobile phone so this one is actually for holding the mobile phone okay for holding that coffee right here okay there you go so this is the hand for holding this uh, coffee cup this one right here also use this one for holding this gift box okay and then try to change this one so that's the small one okay there you go this is the medium yeah medium open semi open eyes okay this one is the wide open eyes okay there you go okay I think that's it guys my overall thoughts, I would say that this Spider-Man Miles Morales is absolutely amazing. Definitely a must-buy for any Miles Morales lover or Spider-Man fan. However, it doesn't seem to be an urgent must-have item, especially if you already have Miles Morales figure. Maybe after a few years of waiting. On the flip side, if you don't buy it today, you'll miss its cheap price which I foresee will eventually go up. Well. This one may just be an additional figure to your Spider-Man collection, but I assure you, you'll surely love it. And I forgot to talk about his hoodie sweatshirt, it looks great. Although the print is not as clean as expected, it's still good. And the front pocket will definitely work for some poses. You could also detach his sweatshirt, leaving the undershirt, though I think it's not advisable, because it doesn't have print details even on its arms. One last thing. You will really enjoy its articulations and the tones of accessories that come with it. There definitely will be a lot of incredible dynamic poses one can play around. I think even posing it for a long period of time will not be a problem. And even if that suit is thin and looks easy to break, I would say it is an eye candy. Okay, I think that's about it. Let me know your thoughts on this one. Feel free to comment down below and if you like this video, if you like my unboxing and review, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching. Until then, see you in the next one. Peace.